Hey guys, it's Vanessa again, and I am here to talk about the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Mascara. And I um, was reached out to with who knows how many other bloggers. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of these reviews coming out. But I was uh, included in a blogger kind of release um, asking if uh, I wanted to try these, and I said yes, I would like to be one of the people who tried this out. So this... Um, Mascara is from Too Faced and the whole concept behind it is that it's a lash extension system with flex stretch nylon fibers. Now I hope I have it here. I should have taken it out so I apologize. Um, the concept of this is not anything new. Basically there's a lot of mascaras out in the market that have fibers um, and basically those are the mascaras where you pull them out and it kind of looks like there's hair on your brush and it's little fibers that attach to your lashes and then kind of just fill them up and they're They've been referred to as paint on false lashes and that sort of thing. Um, and there's also a lot of mascaras that are like the two-step mascara. So you get like a primer and then you put um, the other part of the mascara. So it kind of like the primer blinks out your lashes so you get this full rich black mascara. So this kind of combines all of those concepts um, and it's a three-step system um, with two parts if that makes sense. So. First of all, let's just chat about this packaging here. So the, it comes in a box like this, Too Faced. Too Faced always has like nice little girly, dainty writing. Um, and then a close-up of the lash. And then here it has like kind of little stats of what people saw. And then how to use it, how it works sort of thing in the back. And then on the side, it shows you exactly what comes, um, the different bristles and what they're used for. So right off the bat, I like this packaging and I don't like this packaging. Oh, and I should also mention that it flips open like so to reveal the product. And then in here is kind of the step-by-step -step guide again. So number one, it took me forever to figure out that this is how it opens. But once I did, I thought, how cute is that? And if you don't have too big of a collection, if this is the only mascara you use, or you're someone who has a hard time letting go of boxes of products, I like this because it's actually a useful box of a product it's not just like a waste of space box um so I do like that about it the exterior packaging um I do marketing and we've kind of gotten into package design with our clients for me a little cluttered like some of this information I think is either a little cluttered or it's like too many fonts on the front but I like the idea and I like where they were going with this. I like that they show you what the product is in the box because in a lot of stores, um, they don't have samples or the samples are really shitty. So here you can kind of get a glimpse of what you're getting um, without having to open the box, obviously. I love anything that just has these big fat stats. I love stats and I just think it helps you uh, right away without having to read all this crap. I can look at this and right away say like, this is what it's supposed to do for my lashes. I love anything with a step-by-step because -step, I always say it's like a little YouTube in your pocket. Because, um, you know, on YouTube we always assume everybody's at the level that we're at. But there are some people who are very new to concepts like a multi-step mascara or, you know, who don't really know what they're doing. And this is a great way to just ensure that you're using the product the right way to get the best results. So now to the actual product. So the first and third step comes in this uh, kind of traditional mascara uh, tube. It's, you know, not much taller than a regular mascara tube. This is a MAC one, just to compare it. They're actually about the very same size, and it's a little bit fatter than that. Um, and it's in this mirrored kind of very YSL faux sills-like uh, packaging. And then it just says Too Faced, Fatter Than False and Lashes, has some information on there. It tells you that it's step one and three. So it's the activating mascara base and the top coat. And this is what it looks like. It's a um, kind of like bristle. The bristles on it aren't plastic. They're kind of more like the, I always say Christmas tree pipe cleaner looking ones. Um, and it's a really nice sized wand. It's not too small, not too big. And as you can see that you can still see all the bristles on the brush. It's a very thin formula. It's not too thick and it's not too goopy. Um, I have to say that I love the formula of this mascara. Like as soon as you put it on, it feels like a mascara that you've had for a while that kind of dried a little bit and is at the perfect consistency. Like sometimes new mascaras are just too wet and they get all over the place. And this is just, a, at first you're like, this is so light. How is this going to make my eyes, you know, look so dramatic? But it's just the perfect consistency of mascara. And I think the wand shape is a great shape too, because it's just, it's a little big. It's a little, you know, it's not too big, not too small. So I really like that. It has a little bit of a curve 
in the inside like a little bit of an hourglass but not too much and overall though I really love this mascara I have to say just even on its own for a daytime mascara really nice really pretty so then the next mascara is much smaller and this is the step two and this is the nylon lash fibers so this one is smaller um, I'll hold it to the Mac one just because I did the other one um, so you can see smaller a little bit thicker um, and this one has a white base and a gold top and when you take it out this really tripped me out when I took it out if you can see the wand it looks like when you've had a spoolie for too long that's been rolling around and it's collecting lint and it just kind of looks like a bunch of lint or cotton wrapped around a really tightly spiral um, spoolie but when you look closely you can see that this isn't really cotton it's more the fibers and they kind of just um, fly away even so these are the fibers that are going to attach to your lash and when you're putting on this thing which is so crazy because even when you look in here which you're not gonna be able to see it just looks like it just looks like it's full of cotton it's so weird so what you do with this is you put on a coat of this uh, first one first so you just put one coat of it on and you're gonna put it on your lashes are gonna look not that different and you're gonna be like this mascara sucks <laughs> then you put this on and your lashes are gonna look crazy like they have fuzz and um, they're a mess all over it and then you're gonna put this on again on top of the second step and your lashes are gonna look amazing full fake and out of control so basically the nylon fibers get activated once you put this on the third the final coat and it coats all the lashes there's no white fuzzies it just looks like really nice full beautiful lashes um, and I know that it's a lot of steps but they're so worth it and if you think about it it's just about the same amount of time as putting on a set of false lashes except this is less messy there's more control it's an uh, application that you're more used to um, than kind of fidgeting around with glue and waiting for it to dry and you guys know that I'm not the biggest on false lashes so I really 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 love this because it just makes a total difference so I don't have it on today but I did remember to take pictures which I'm going to insert now hopefully So yeah, so those pictures, you can definitely see the difference in my eyes for sure without them um, and with the product on my eye. And I took those right away. Those pictures have, I think in the after picture, I have a light wash of eyeshadow, but I have no liner because I didn't want my lash line to appear thicker. Um, and I have, yeah, no, so no liner. It's just no, a bare eye and then one with slightly a little bit of eyeshadow but it's not even a dramatic look and just this foundation. So there's no false lashes, no liner, no uh, tight lining, none of that. And you can totally tell the difference in that picture. I love this. Um, my sister was amazed when she saw it on me. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. And I totally recommend this um, to you guys and I will put it down below on where you can get it. So overall, I really love um, this. I know that the steps, I would say that that's my con is that it's not just like, for example, with the mascara, one, two, three, you're done. With this one, it's like one, wait, two, three. You know, it, it is a little bit longer of a process, so it's not completely hassle-free. However, in my opinion, totally less hassle than um, a, a set of false lashes with very similar results to false. I wouldn't say, you know, you still, with false lashes, you have variety and you can get more, even more fullness. But this is pretty darn close for an everyday look without having to use false lashes. Um, I will say to remove this, uh, just your regular eye makeup remover is probably not going to cut it. Um, I, mine comes off in the shower. And there's been other mascaras like this, so you're probably used to it, where it comes out like in tubes. So when you first take it off, like I kind of just give a little rub and then a slide. And when you first take it off and you look down, you're going to be like, oh my god, this is ripping out all of my lashes. Because it looks like lashes are falling out of your eye, but it's really just the fibers and your lashes are fine and they're there. I've actually been using this for a week. 
I think a full week, maybe a week and a half, and I've only lost two eyelashes, actual eyelashes, because I inspect it every day just to make sure, because I know that that's a concern with um, real lash extensions, um, is your lashes falling out. So I've only lost two eyelashes in about a week and a half, um, and that's because I was scrubbing pretty hard, but otherwise, they, and they don't take that much scrubbing to come off. It's just very gentle, and you'll just see a bunch of tubes coming off, and once it comes off, it's off clean with water, no big deal. But, um, it's not something that's just going to come off with a makeup wipe, just a little FYI. Um, so yeah, other than that, though, I really, really love this mascara. Like, I hate when I get sent a product and I give it a great review, because I feel like you guys think that I'm being dishonest, and I just like it because it's free, but honestly... I would, you know I would rip it to shreds if it sucked, and it really works really well, and I totally love, love it, and like I said, even just this mascara alone, for an everyday subtle look, it's like the perfect formula, so definitely check this out if you like the false lash look, I super recommend the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes, and um, obviously you can get the Sephora, I think Ulta, Too Faced.com, that sort of thing, so I'll link it below if you want more information, and that's about it. Thanks Too Faced for sending this, and thank you, more importantly, to you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.